big one as well. Hello and welcome to the post-game press conference of basketball champions league game Eranimburg versus uh, Texit Bandirma. Uh, the final score was 92-70 and for this part of the press conference we have with us the head coach of Bandirma Hakan Demir and of course Erkan Yilmaz. So Erkan, could you tell us how did you see the game? First of all I will say congrats to Nimburg team. They play well and they play harder than us, that's why they win. Also, we are ones that the we guys from the our youth teams, we try to fight what we got, but it wasn't enough for the win. That's why we got one more game next week at our home court, we will see it there. Thank you. Just one more question. You've said it already that this, the game two is set for the next week. Is there anything particular you have to be focused on before it happens? We just, we, uh, it's something happened and we lose our couple of our foreigners. That's why we just need to focus on the fights on the court. And um, what I tell, we got young players from the youth teams from Bantekshut, Bandurma. That's why we try to get experience from these games. We try to play, we try to get played. Yes. Thank you very much. If you want to, you are free to go. Thank you. Thanks, Arkan. Take care. And coach. Same question for you. Could you tell us how did you see the game so first? I have a question for you. Do you? Yes. Okay. So your, your target is, your aim is to make Final Four. Eh? Of course. So where is your journalist? Mm -hmm. If you need to, if you want to make some Final Four at this level, you All need right. some media, you need journalists. All right. Okay. And this is, should be this kind of organization. That's right, you they're have, on down there, you know, it. taking interviews yes. with them, so. So, about the game, because the Champions League is a very serious organization and you have to be serious about it. Sure. So, uh, about the game, of course, we played without our foreigners, very limited uh, rotation. Uh, with the, our uh, young guys already, they grew up from our uh, uh, club. So uh, anyhow, from beginning till to the end, we did, they did our best and uh, next week we will do the same, same uh, we will put the same muscle to the court and uh, for this game I congratulate Nimburg and uh, the, for the next game I hope uh, we can host well uh, them in Bandrum. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much and the same question for you, is there anything particular you have to be focused on in practice before the game two happens? No, no, nothing, just we will keep fighting. Cool. Good luck. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Take care. <coughs> Safe travel to home. And the second part of the press conference is coming up in a few minutes. Great. 
So for this part of the press conference, uh, we have with us the head coach of Aaron Limburg, Oren Amiel, and of course uh, the player Zach Hankins. Zach, could you tell us how was the game from your perspective? Um, you know, we started out. Um, you know, we always start out games trying to impose our will, but they were obviously able to you know keep up with us for a little bit, and then uh, there during the middle of the game, a little bit, we were able to run them down, uh, really get our pace of play going, which is just fast. Even if they score, you get it out, you go, you get up a shot. Um, intense defense. Uh, and then it kind of faltered a little bit at the end. It's always a tough thing mentally to do to stay really locked in when you have a good margin. But that's that's what Coach just said after the game. we got to uh, pursue perfection, and we got to um, continue to do that, even if we have a decent margin, just to work on our mentality and, and be the best we can be. Um, they were they played a tough game. They, you know they they played pretty well. They had a good shooting percentage. Looking at it, um, but we're definitely gonna have to pick it up going into the next game. How much help uh, did you get from the home crowd? Because the energy in the arena was incredible. Yeah, it was great. Um, I love I love when you have a good crowd that's just into the game. It makes you so much more excited to to play the game when you have somebody that is appreciating your craft and and out to support you. Uh, it definitely means a lot to have them there and, and show up and fill that gym up. Thank you very much. Yeah. If you want to, you're free to go. Thanks. Thanks, Zach. And coach, please, could you tell us how did you see the game? I mean, um, it's always tricky. You know, these kind of games, uh, you have basically, you're the only one who have to lose something. So, in general, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay with the way we played and it, we need to be much more consistent uh, during the games. And uh, just one thing, it's important to say, first of all, we play against a very coachable team. Like you can see the system and it's, I knew, I knew it, it's going to be a challenge for us. Um, and if someone thinks that uh, to go to Turkey and play, uh, it's going to be the same story. So we don't understand basketball or situation or, or um, event. So. I'm expecting a tough, 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 tough game in Turkey, and I hope we can uh, come with the same uh, desire to play. Uh, the game two is set for the next week. Is there anything particular in practice you have to be focused on before it happens? Yeah, we have a long season with so many games. The next, the next uh, thing I'm think uh, I'm thinking it's about uh, Prosti of Olomotsko on Saturday. Really, this is the only thing that bothers me right now regarding. Uh, Come, stay, uh, stay healthy. Uh, keep putting Mike back to the system. We need him, and after that, we will uh, take care of the, the analyze this game. Cool. Thank you very much. You're okay. free to go. Good luck. Thank you very much.